Hi everybody, this is Solomon Schmidt from HistoryBites.com. Today we're going to talk about John Calvin. John Calvin was born on July 10th, 1509 in Noyon, France. He was raised a Roman Catholic and studied in Paris, France to become a priest. However, his father Gerard wanted him to become a lawyer, and so in 1528, John began to study law at the University of Orleans in France until his father died in 1531. After his father's death, John attended the University of Paris to study Hebrew and Greek, which are the languages of the Old and New Testaments of the Bible. During this time, John began to read the writings of Martin Luther, who was the famous Protestant reformer from Germany. After reading Luther's teachings and studying the Bible, John decided to become a Protestant. During this time, Francis I was King of France, and he was a supporter of the Roman Catholic Church. Because of this, it became dangerous for Protestants to live in France. In the early 1530s, Calvin left France and fled to the city of Basel, Switzerland. During his time there, he worked on a book called The Institutes of the Christian Religion, which was first published in 1536 and revised and updated throughout his life. Later that year, Mr. Calvin planned to leave Switzerland to live in the city of Strasbourg, France, where he could write and study in peace. However, while on his way to Strasbourg, he stopped in Geneva, Switzerland, and met a man named William Farrell, who was a pastor in the city. Pastor Farrell convinced Mr. Calvin to stay in Geneva and become a preacher. Calvin worked hard to help the Genevan people live in a way that he thought was honoring to God. However, in 1538, the Geneva City Council forced him to leave because they did not like his belief that people who continued in sin should not take the Lord's Supper, also known as communion. The City Council thought that this was going too far, and so Mr. Calvin left Geneva and went to become a pastor in Strasbourg, France. However, in 1541, he returned to Geneva when the people agreed that they had made a mistake in sending him away. Mr. Calvin began to preach again and also helped to create laws for the city. He lived in Geneva for the rest of his life. In 1559, he founded the Geneva Academy, which was one of the first Protestant colleges in the world. John Calvin died on May 27, 1564, in Geneva, Switzerland. He was one of the most famous and influential theologians of all time. His teachings and writings have had a large impact all around the world, especially in Reformed Protestant churches. People who agree with his teachings are often referred to as Calvinists. John Calvin was very dedicated in his service to God. Even while he was on his deathbed, he continued to work by dictating, which is saying thoughts out loud for someone else to write down. When his friends tried to convince him to rest, Mr. Calvin said, What? Do you want the Lord to find me idle when he comes? Comment below and tell me if you know how many Calvinists there are in the world today. Please give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with all of my videos. And until next time, go learn your history.